Okay, we are returning now to the part two of my Blu-ray and DVD movie collection, including TV box sets also. So I think now what we'll have to do is move on to my TV box sets before I move on there up here. And I'll just show off a couple. Okay, so I've got the entire Frasier collection and there's 11 seasons in the Frasier. And this was about 40, I got this for about 40 three pound which I still think is an absolutely brilliant deal but I was raging because about a month later I did buy this in November and coming up to Christmas went down to 33 pound on Savvy I mean 33 pound for that amount of seasons so many episodes and stuff I watched five seasons of it downloaded that's right downloaded and I thought you know what I love this series and I'm gonna buy it it is it's my absolutely favorite sitcom one of my favorite TV shows it's just a smart witty fun show one it's also poignant and there's a lot of social criticism and satire in there and I think it's a cleverly well written film and or TV show, that's just a habit and I genuinely think you know the characters are quite moving at times and their development is really well written and a few sitcoms you know, get it right that way as well, I'm not really a fan of sitcoms I think it's the, the show that kind of made me more welcoming to sitcoms um, I still don't watch that many to be honest though, I'm more of a movie person but Frasier Brilliant box set. The Sopranos, which I've been re-watching, and you know, it's monumental television. If you haven't seen Sopranos yet, you're doing something wrong because this is one of those spellbending, groundbreaking um, pieces of entertainment. I mean, it's beyond entertainment. Uh, I would have to do a video on Sopranos at some point, so if you think that's a good idea, let me know below if you're a fan, if you'd like to see me do a video discussing it, and maybe that with William or something, because this is just such a fucking great show. I mean, that's... It's, I don't even know where to start when it talks about when I talk about Sopranos because once I start talking about it, I walk on tangents, so I'll just shut up now. And another great HBO show is Six Feet Under, and this box set's fucking huge. It's like a big flipping casket itself. Quite fitting, isn't it? Six Feet Under. And more people need to see this film. I think people you know the premise because of how morbid it is. A few people are checking this one out in comparison to Sopranos, but. This is my second favourite show and it is monumental television again. It's bold, you know, audacious, heartfelt, poignant and it really explores the human condition so well that it's it's mind blowing. Absolutely love this. Look forward to rewatching this. I really wanted to. I finished it last year about this time and I've wanted to rewatch it but I think I'm going to wait because the longer I wait I think the more I'm going to enjoy it when I go back to rewatch it. And maybe I might wait to I mature a bit as well or something or you know get a bit older because I mean the, I mean it's just an incredible film life and death uh, I mean it always sounds pretentious but it's it's really not it's just groundbreaking check this one out as well if you haven't um, so that's TV that's all my TV stuff now let's move on to the rest of the DVDs we'll just focus on these shelves now and then we'll in fact no I'll do this one first and then we'll move on to that one. That's that's the good stuff up there, to be honest. That's the one that I kind of have as a display. So we'll go over here first and look at the Blu-rays. And this is the shelving. The very long shelf, and I think it's very efficient. And at the top, you can see Stanley Kubrick box it just looming over everything like the monolith. I, I think I thought that was quite fun and playful to do. And then Blade Runner sitting below it, you know, I thought that was fun to do as well. And that's a great Blu-ray, I've done an unboxing video of that, I think some of you may have seen it. And here we have my steelbooks that are, that are not, you know, by a certain director or a BFI release or anything. So you've got some here, um, Akira, very, very rare Blu-ray now. Uh, so it's Basket Case and then Clockwork Orange. And One Flew Over the Cookies Nest, I love that film, I love it as well. love all these films. I do, I love all these films, but I haven't seen Empire of the Sun yet. Then I have some artificial eye films here, and still a big artificial eye too. And these are all the artificial eye Blu-rays I have. The other ones are behind me, the DVD ones. So Four Hundred Blows, you know, wonderful film. I haven't seen actually I haven't seen any of these yet, so I'm really looking forward to that. I haven't seen Z Zadowiki either, but I've seen the original Zadowiki. Then we have the BFI Blu-rays. I also have Blu-ray DVD, uh, BFI DVDs behind me, and I'll get into those also. So I've got Pasha Patiampian, um, Alice, Jan Svankmeyer film, Jan Svankmeyer, uh, incredible animated film, a very strange, surreal adaptation of Alice in Wonderland, and if you think the Disney one's weird, check this one out, it's a bit better, definitely. 
took you to three OZ films, took you story autumn afternoon and late spring, and six actually because they all have another, another film. Twelve Angry Men masterpiece. Haven't seen those two films there. Bonnie and Clyde, City of God, love it, masterpiece also. Christmas Carol, Kim Carrey, Drive. And we down got the long goodbye, like father, like son, like someone in love. Lost in translation, I need to watch that one again. I can't wait to watch it again. I think I'm just gonna love it when I see it again. Um The Man Shot Liberty of Alance, one of my favourite Jimmy Stewart films, and favourite John Ford films so far. Misery, Mr. Turner, I need to see it. And uh, The Master and The Machinist. The Machinist is a really great film, and I think I genuinely think that is Christian Bale's best performance. Uh, I swear to God. Next, The American Psycho. Now, Wild Dark Knight is a better film. I, I feel The Machinist and American Psycho truly show how well Christian Bale can act. Pan's Labyrinth, really fantastic film from Mexican director uh, Guillermo del Toro. Absolutely incredible film, visually and in terms of storytelling. Schindler's List, um, you know, goes without saying. Truman Show, which I rewatched recently, and I still absolutely adore this film. I really, really do. I think it's completely. I mean, it is quite well regarded, but I don't think people realize just how intelligent and aware the film is. Um, it's more. It's more. It's more relevant now than it was in 1998, and it always will be, and I guess it's just fantastic. So much to say about that film too. To Kill a Mockingbird, uh, whatever happened to Baby Kane, love that film. Okay, so that's everything in that room, in that row of films, and now we'll move over to these ones. I decided to stand on my bed to get this so my arms aren't getting as tired. So you can see here we've got... Um, Blu-ray box set of uh, the Monsters Blu-ray box set, Universal Monsters. Let me try and get over here and show you. And that's that one. It's great. Then I have the Lauren Hardy box set here. And this is one of my most cherished. It's not very valuable. It's still quite cheap, which is strange. Lauren Hardy box set. Um, people need to check out on Hardy more. I keep stressing that. I've always, I keep stressing that online. You know, this is a fantastic box set. It's got a lot of their silent work too. And... One thing that I noticed was, you know, they all, most of them, have colourised versions. Do not watch colourised versions, that's completely bastardising the black and white footage. And some more Lauren Hardy up there. Then it's split up with, oh, my phone went off. Then it's split up with these Masters of Cinema books. And some Blu-rays there, they are like Sony Entertainment releases. Boys in the Hood, wonderful film. Apocalypse Now. Great edition of Apocalypse Now as well, I mean this has a lot inside. You know, it's got art cards as well. It's got a lot of art cards. See there. See that. Yeah, I can show you one of the art cards because they're actually on my wall. That's it there. And the, the, the Monsters box that came with art cards as well. I've done an unboxing and review of that too. Coraline, underrated animated film, which I still really enjoy. Cinema Party, so wonderful, also. And that's my that's that's some of my Disney Blu-rays there. Love them. Bambi, Bambi two. I haven't seen Bambi two, and I have absolutely no intentions of seeing it. And then we have Lord of the Rings, the box set that every Lord of the Rings fan probably owns. I have the DVD version as well, sitting over there. And I'm using them, you know, to basically keep it, keep all my things up, to keep all the movies up. Uh, the Blu-ray box sets here, I'll, actually I'll get into those after. But over here you can see my artificial eye films. Amur, The Sacrifice, The Separation, 13 Assassins, The Colors Killing and Sutton Tango, the seven and a half hour film. Amur is brilliant, The Separation is brilliant. Then I got my Chaplin films sitting here, I've got the Chaplin collection. I've done a video on that. that was my first one of my first videos was this collection and I recommend people buying this and it's a fu it's fun to note actually that our official eye are bringing out all the, the Chaplin films on Blu-ray. They may or may not be bringing out a Blu-ray box set too and if they are if they are people I will be one of the first to get it and I don't care if it costs me ninety pound because that's how much I'm willing to spend on it. Chaplin of Keystone 
It's really great too. Shot in the keystone. That's earliest, very, very early stuff. I haven't seen all of them in that box set yet, but that's a great, great box. I got that for fifteen pound or so. Limelight on Blu-ray. I don't know why I actually got this on Blu-ray, but I have it. I'm keeping it. Godzilla. Woohoo, Godzilla. The original Godzilla by Ishiro Hondo, and it actually features uh, Toshiro Mifu no, not, not Mifune, uh, Takashi Shimura, who's in a lot of, a lot of Kurosawa's films. And then we've got, we have, we've got the Kurosawa collection, I think I have 23 of his films out of 30, or 31, and I'm very proud to own them all, and I'm hoping to own them all eventually, because he's just an absolutely brilliant director. So you've got the classic collection, the early collection, and then the crime collection. Then I then I own up the other BFI releases here in Fortress Jujimbo, Sanjuro, uh Rashomon, which is by Optimum Asia. I love this edition and that was the first one uh, my introduction to Kurosawa. And I really uh, very nostalgic now thinking about it. Love them. Matadayo, one of his final films. Not as it's really, really under scene and I, I haven't owned yet, I look forward to it anyway. Kagamusha and Ran on, on Blu-ray. I'm updating this one to the Dead Key book. If I only knew it was there, I would have got it in the first place. And then Seven Samurai. Wonderful. Then we have Masters of Cinema. And I've done a video looking at my Masters of Cinema collection, so I'm not going to talk about these very much. So as you can see there, that's the, uh, the Steel Books. Double Indemnity. Great film. Passion like Joan of Arc. This is a fantastic edition. I mean, just it's just wow. This is such a cool edition of the film. It's got a steel book in it too. Um, that's the steel book cover there. I own a few more since I done that video actually, so you can see the floating weeds is new. Uh, there's a good few of them that are actually new. Then we have Studio Ghibli. And I just want to note that The Wind Rises, this edition, this edition came with art cards and stuff. That's one of the art cards. This edition is, like, very rare now, and, I mean, I'm seeing it go for 50, 60 pound. I got for 21, 50, which I still find to be rather expensive for one film. I mean, it is expensive for one film, but it is a wonderful edition. And I haven't rewatched this film yet, so I should probably hurry up and do it. Kiki's Delivery Service and Princess Monoki. I still need the own Spirit Away on Blu-ray. And I'll get to that when I go to watch it again or something. So that's why you see it absent here. I did have a DVD and sold it so I could upgrade. Uh, Mania of Totoro, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, Cagliostro. These are great steel books also. See that. Cat Returns. Quite enjoyable film. Uh, Tales of Mercy, not the best. And we have Shoah sitting here. The, the, the absolute contrast here is unreal. I mean, if anyone has seen Shoah and also Studio Ghibli films, you'll put that together. Shoah is a nine and a half hour documentary about um, Holocaust survivors and not just survivors, but people who knew survivors, relatives, um, a historian, an ex SS officer, and people who lived near the atrocities that went on. Um, without it getting into detail, it is a groundbreaking documentary, and I think it's the greatest documentary ever made. And it's also a Masters of Cinema release. Nine and a half hours. Yeah. Then we've got some Blu rays here. Blu ray box sets. The Western collection, there's a lot in there I need to see still. The only one that I've seen is The Searchers. No, The Wild Bunch as well, but I need to rewatch The Wild Bunch. But, but it's got Peter Ryder, Rio Bravo, and How the West Was One. And I got this for like £13, so I was quite happy with that. Harry Potter Blu-ray collection. Back the Future, Planet Earth. And a couple of other ones there, don't really care much for. Uh, but I like Shrek, of course. And that's, that's all those ones then. Okay, so that is my collection. I think, that I, I definitely filmed it all. That's the entire collection, people. And to finish the video, I'm going to actually just kind of look at all my favourite things here. These are my absolute favourite ones, box sets and DVDs and stuff. So let's have an overview of just what I think are my absolute favourite editions. Uh, the Sopranos, I mean, I love that collection because it's just a wonderful series. And it came out in Blu-ray actually like last year. But I'm not getting it on Blu-ray. It's too expensive. 
six feet under, you know, manu two manual television shows, Seven Samurai Steelbook, love it, uh, Monsters, uh, this is, I mean, it's a great box set, and it really does fold out, it's all those discs. And it's got a little booklet too. I'll put that away after the video. I mean, yeah, the Apocalypse Now one's great too. I mean, the Apocalypse, I just love it. I really do. Yeah, Kira Steelbook. Back to front. Clockwork Orange. That back image is fantastic. One, I love this. I really love this one. And that picture of Chief on the background. The Interstellar Digi Book. My Neighbor Totoro Steelbook. Look, there's Cat Bus, the Legend. Passionate Joan of Arc Steel Book. The Blade Runner box set. I absolutely worship it. And the Chaplin box set, which is just wonderful. It really is fucking wonderful. And they, I mean, all of these are absolutely wonderful, people. I mean, I recommend buying all of these. I really do. So that is it, folks. That's the end of the video, and that is my entire collection. Now, let's do the tallies. So I have 23 Steel Books, uh, 6 Artificial Eye Blu rays. 6 artificial eye DVDs, 6 BFI Blu rays, 9 BFI DVDs, 1 Deji book, 26 Masters of Cinema Blu ray. Total DVD count is 249, 271 if you include the box sets, 149 Blu rays, and 155 including box sets. Uh, so DVD box sets add up to 22, and Blu ray box sets add up to 6. So in total, um, I didn't actually calculate it, so it's something like I'm going to work it out right now, folks. So there are 426 in my collection, and that doesn't include individual films, if you know what I mean. You know, because that's what the box sets to me have five or six films in. So, you know, there could be something like 600 films in my room, and that's quite crazy. I've seen about 1,400, and I, that means I almost own all the films that I've seen. And consider some. I've seen some of the cinema as well, obviously. But that is my entire collection, and I'm quite proud of it, considering I'm only 20 and I own that amount already. And somehow I've been able to have the money to get all this stuff. And, you know, I just love the collection because I like having them on my shelf, you know, because of how important they are to me, especially for some films like One Flew of the Cookies Nest. I, I love the fact that it's right there, and I can, you know, watch it anytime I want. That, and all, you've got all these narratives. All this information just fingertips away and you know physical media is just way better and I like just having physical stuff because I mean this is this is where my inner um what's the word materialist just comes out um I'm not usually one who is all about commodity fetishization and just loving to have clothes and stuff but like I swear to god movies uh blu-rays and stuff like that is my vice that is where I become very shallow. <laughs> and that's it. I mean, I just love all these movies. They all, they're very important to me. And I like being able to recommend them to people and, you know, hand them to people say, check this out. And, you know, that's that's the beauty of it in total. And I, I couldn't even tell you what the price tag on, on this collection would be. Um, if excluding the ones that have been bought for me, most of them actually in this room that I have been bought by myself, for myself in the past five years. It was about five, five, five and a half years ago whenever I started collecting. And yeah, that's my collection everyone. I think I'll do another one in about a year's time. So I hope you enjoyed the collection. And I hope you saw some of my special editions. I hope you're getting crowded to go and watch them and see them uh, and buy them. Yes, I'm, going, I'm actually being that person who recommends to buy stuff. Um, I should, re I mean this is free promotion. I should really be getting paid for this sort of thing and, and I'm not. So that's it everyone. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. That's all I can say. I'm not going to say subscribe. Subscribe. Please do it. And that's it. Goodbye, everyone.